Hi, it's Jamie from Gilbrook Farm. Today I'm going to show you what I do with my drippings. So drippings are very flavorful fat that comes off of meat when you cook it. Um, the, probably the best example would be bacon. When you fry up some bacon, you have all the grease in the pan. And now a lot of people say that, but even more people just take that and dump it down the sink. Some other examples of drippings um, would be when you roast a turkey or a chicken, um, or if you cook some roast beef, um, or even when you um, make a ham. There's a lot of juice that comes off of there that can be used um, or saved for other recipes. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I do with my drippings. Rather than throw them away, I repurpose those for some very, very flavorful fat and um, actually bouillon. So anytime that you're cooking a piece of meat, instead of throwing that flavorful fat away, you're going to want to strain it into any wide mouth container. It doesn't matter if it's um, a mason jar or if it's just a wide glass container. But go ahead and strain it through a fine mesh uh, strainer and get, try and get all the meat and particles out of it as best you can. And then you're going to want to go ahead and pop this in your fridge. Now after a couple hours when you take it out, you're going to see that the fat has all risen to the top and that there's this gelatinous stuff in the bottom. Um, this is excellent for seasoning any kinds of foods. So the fat, it can be used in pie crust. It makes an amazing pie crust. It doesn't matter if it's sweet or savory. I actually use um, half and half of this fat on top and butter when making my pie crust. The stuff on the bottom is like bouillon. So you can take this and use it when you're making rice or um, if you want to season some soups, anything like that that you want to add some extra boost of flavor, take this gelatinous stuff and add a scoop or two into any of that and it tastes amazing. Now, this will only last about a week in your fridge. The reason for that is because there is meat particles and water in there that will go rancid. Um, if you want it to last longer, I'm going to show you what you're going to do. Okay, so to save um, your drippings, you need to save uh, the fat separately from the bouillon. And right now I'm going to show you how I save the fat. Um, what I have here is what's left over from cooking a whole bunch of ham. Now that's a whole lot of fat. Typically you're not going to have that much. Uh, you're probably only going to have something that's the equivalent of the fat in this jar. And what you're going to do is you're going to scrape the fat off and you're going to put it into some boiling water. You want three times as much boiling water as you do fat. So we're going to do that now, but because I have all this fat, I have a big pot of water on the boil. You can see this comes off pretty easily. And we're going to put that right in the boiling water, and right there is my bouillon. Might want a bigger pot, but what we're going to do is we're going to let this melt and then we're going to stick it in the fridge to cool down and form that layer of fat again. And the reason we're doing that is because we're cleaning out the fat. So we're going to gently stir this and get any particles of meat out. I'm probably going to put this in a bigger pot because uh, I don't want it to spill. And I'm going to put it back in the fridge and we're going to let this cool. Now again, this is clarifying or cleaning out all the meat particles uh, from the fat. So we're going to do that and then I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, to save your bouillon, if you're not going to use it within a week, all you need to do, you can see it's gelatinous, just take it and scoop it into ice cube trays and then you can freeze it and pop them out and put them into a baggie and you can use them whenever you want. Now each one of these uh, ice cubes is about a tablespoon. You can throw it in some rice or in some stew or soup or anything you like and it adds a whole lot of flavor. It's been several hours. Um, we just took our pot out of the refrigerator and you can see that the uh, lard has solidified on top. And I also want to show you um, something else here. 
this is some fat that I scraped off of beef that was canned and I put this into a clear jar so you guys can see that the meat that was attached to it fell to the bottom and that the fat is on top. Now there still might be a couple flecks of meat on the bottom of this fat. We're going to scrape that off if we can. But right now what we're going to do is we're going to put all this fat into a pot and we're going to gently boil off all the water. Now some people like to keep their lard separate from their tallow. I don't because we're doing such small amounts. Actually this is a fairly large amount but usually you're going to get a much, lar uh, much smaller amount from just saving drippings. And um, I just mix it all together. I'm not too concerned about keeping it separate. So right now we're going to go ahead and do that. You can see there's not much on there. A few flecks of meat. I'm just going to pick those off. I'm going to put that right in here. And now we're going to do the same with our lard. Okay, and now we're going to bring this to a boil gently and we're going to boil up all the water. You're going to hear it um, start to, to hiss, crackle, and that's the water evaporating off. When the crackles start going down, kind of like popcorn, um, when they start disappearing, that means most of the water's gone. Then we're going to allow it to cool a little bit and we're going to put it in some jars for long-term keeping. Okay guys, so you can see that it's not bubbling as much, so most of the water is gone. What we're going to do now is we're going to turn the burner off, and we're going to take it off of the burner and let it cool down um, so that we're able to pour it into a jar. So probably maybe about another 45 minutes or so. Okay, so our fat from our drippings is now cool, and we're just going to pour it into some jars. and put these in the fridge and after a couple hours it's going to harden just like this and it'll be good for several months. And here is our bouillon that we froze in our ice cube trays. Now these are not quite frozen all the way through yet so I'm going to leave these sit overnight and then I'm going to pop them out and put them in a bag and store them in the freezer. So there you go guys that's what I do with my drippings. Um, to recap, all you do is take the liquid that comes off of your meat whenever you're cooking, pour it into a wide mouth, mouth jar, put it in the refrigerator. Your fat's going to rise to the top and then your bouillon's going to be on the bottom. As long as you're using that within a week, you don't need to do anything to it. You can just use it right from the fridge. But if you want to keep it for a longer period of time, say up to several months, you're going to need to separate the fat and separate the bouillon. And like I said, with the bouillon, you can just put it into ice cube trays. Each one is about one tablespoon. Pop them out and then store them in a baggie when they're frozen. And then for the fat, you take that and pour it um, into some boiling water, at least three times the amount of fat that you have, pour that into three times the amount of water, and let that dissolve. And then all the meat's going to fall to the bottom, and then all the clarified fat's gonna rise to the top whenever you stick it in the fridge. Scoop that off, and then you're going to heat it up gently over the stove until it stops crackling. And then when that cools down, you can pour it into jars, and that's good for several months. If you guys have any tips or tricks on rendering your own drippings, go ahead and leave that below. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, if you have any questions, leave those below as well. Um, I'm not an expert on this stuff. This is just what I do. I thought I'd share with you guys. So if you like this kind of thing, feel free to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Or if it's a, um, like, say, a clear plastic. This is not plastic. This is glass. What is this thing called? Wide dish thing. <laughs>
and that will last pretty much indefinitely or until it gets freezer burned. Do we need to know that? No. Okay, so our, what is it called? Fat. Fatty stuff.